Good morning. How are you all today? I am Michelle Cooper and I am here to talk to you about how raising your vibration can help you achieve, uh, can help you manifest all of the things that you are wanting to experience in your life and in your business. Um, I am a business alchemist and I help entrepreneurs manifest the business they love, want and need. And I wanted to share with you today a book I'm reading. It's called Raise Your Vibration, 111 Practices to Increase Your Spiritual Connection. And it is by Kyle Gray. And vibe number 14 is forget about fashion, follow your passion, which I think is pretty rad, right? So he talks about how when we are living in our passion, which is really... Um, living in our soul's purpose, living in our calling, living in what we were sent here to be. When we are doing that, um, it's our it's our passion, and we embody it fully. And when we embody our passion fully, we feel all of the feelings, right? So we do feel the struggles and the challenges and the heartache, but at the same time, we can focus on feeling the excitement, the abundance, the safety, the security, the, the awesomeness that is our, our business, um, our abundant conscious business. And when we embody those feelings is when we manifest our business and our life of our dreams. So Kyle, I'll just read a little bit of um, excerpt here. I did post a little bit, but he says, our truest form, our soul, is always in a place that is filled with support, abundance, and fulfillment. When we do what we love, we allow that sense of abundance to move into our body and mind, and we experience it on a physical level. And by experience that abundant feeling, that high vibe feeling, we are raising our frequency. We are raising our vibration. And that contributes like 80% towards you manifesting the life that you are desiring. It, it raises your vibration, it raises your frequency to manifest the business. So sometimes we can get caught up in the have nots and it's good to track the um, things that we are uh, wanting to achieve or fix in our life so that we have awareness of it and responsibility. Um, but we really want to focus on the feeling. What does abundance feel like to you? What, did, what does an, a conscious, abundant business feel like to you? Hey, Jen. Hi, Flora. Uh, hey, Tracy. Um, when you can... When you can feel into that, I have a really clear feeling right now about what my abundant conscious business is. And I think that this is translating into my visibility and how I'm showing up. So Kyle says, your passion is prosperous too. When you, get, when you let go of what you think you should do and follow what you instinctively feel is right for you, all limitations in your, in, in your mind begin to melt away. When you're in a place of deep excitement and love, you're lifted so high on a vibrational level that you're in touch with the total possibility and you move into a frequency that has unlimited support and potential for you. Like how fucking awesome is that? Right? How amazing is that? That little excerpt, I feel like I need to like take a picture and put it on my wall to remind myself. Um, I really recommend this book. This is what the cover looks like. Uh, I am a new, a new convert to Kyle Gray. I have friends who absolutely adore him. And um, I, I wasn't previously aware of all of his magic. So this book is great. It has one little uh, tip a day to raise your vibration. And um, it's proving to be a great read and a very small step. Right now, I'm all about the small steps. Um, so if you saw my post earlier, if I don't have to be 
um, in front of my computer for a meeting, I will be walking during that meeting. So um, I'm all about the small steps right now. And this is a small step every day to raise my vibration. And I encourage you to do the same thing. So I am Michelle. I am a business alchemist turning your business to gold and helping you manifest your, the business, the conscious, abundant business of your desires. See you later.